I'm Scott Wiener, and I guess the best way to explain myself is that I'm a professional pizza enthusiast. So, um, so my name's Scott. I'm gonna take you on a pizza tour. I run Pizza Tours of New York, which means I take people to multiple pizzerias in one shot, and we sample pizza, check out the kitchens, learn about the ovens, all as a way of better understanding pizza globally. It's really the process that I want to explain to you because the way I see my job with this today is to help explain different styles. New York is the pizza city of the planet. Sure, Naples, Italy, sure, New Haven, Connecticut, sure, Chicago, whatever. But New York is really it. New York's had pizza for a long time, back to the 1890s. And since then, a lot has changed. We don't eat the same pizza today that we were really eating back then. And what's so special about this city is that it's a city that just loves pizza. It's hot. Ow. Nah, just kidding. I got the up glove. I'm good. My first instinct wasn't to have a tour business because I didn't know anything about tours. I had never taken tours. We only use quality buses <laughs> here on Scott's Pizza Tours. But I knew I loved pizza and I knew I wanted to figure out a format to teach people about it. You first start by taking it from the outside and by gently pitching about a centimeter in from the outside, we're creating a little bit of a crust. I hold the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of pizza boxes. I currently have just over 1,500 unique pizza boxes. I've got every continent. I've got 93 countries. I've got independent pizzerias, chain pizzerias, stock boxes, custom boxes, prototype boxes, round pizza packages, compressed sugarcane fiber packages, paperboard packages, everything. It's from the McMurdo station from the lab on Antarctica. It's the only custom pizza box in Antarctica. And they saw something about me and they were like, oh, we gotta send this guy a box. And they all signed it. It's the best box I have. Of all the pizzerias in New York, this may have the most significance. When I started running my business, I decided that part of what I do would be community involvement. And the way that we do that is by running this organization called Slice Out Hunger. We do hunger relief fundraising through pizzerias. So we might do an event at a pizzeria where a dollar from each pepperoni and sausage pizza goes to No Kid Hungry. We also do an annual event in New York City where we get 60 pizzerias to donate 30 pies each and we sell slices for $1 a piece. All that money gets matched by corporate sponsors and then a big fat check gets written to some local hunger relief organization. Since we've started running Slice Out Hunger, we've raised over $350,000. I didn't wait until the business was running well to start making a charitable contribution. From day one, we started running these events because it seemed important. Sometimes people think that they need to be doing well before they can start giving back. But I don't think that's the way to do it. You gotta build that into the way you do everything. Bakeries were pizzerias. They didn't split until about 1830. I think my greatest hope on the planet would be that everybody could find something that they enjoy as much as I enjoy giving pizza tours. All the jobs that I thought I might have when I grew up, I, I could never imagine enjoying something as much as I enjoy the thing that I do now.